Vikram and Betal continued on their journey and soon reached the fourth milestone. Here's your next puzzle, Vikram, said Betal. Puzzle 4. Pick your pay. There is a person named Abhimanyu. He is looking for a job and went to several companies for job interviews. After a lot of attempts, Abhimanyu finally got selected in one of the companies he had applied to. But as luck would have it, Abhimanyu's boss put forth two offers to him and asked him to pick one before he joined the job. The first offer is 4,000 rupees for his first year of work and a raise of 800 rupees for each year. The second offer is 2,000 rupees for the first six months of work and a raise of 200 rupees every six months thereafter. Which offer do you think Abhimanyu should pick and why? Vikram started analyzing both the offers and said that the second offer is much better than the first one. Bital asked him, how could he be so sure? Vikram starts explaining how he arrived at the answer. Let us first bring both the offers to a comparable ground. So, according to the problem, if Abhimanyu accepts offer A, he will be making 4,000 rupees at the end of the first year. However, if he accepts offer B, he will be making 2,000 rupees at the end of the first six months and then 200 rupees more. That is, 2,200 rupees for the next six months. So, after the first year, he would be making 4,200 rupees if he accepts offer B. So, after the first year, here is what Abhimanyu would make if he accepted the two offers. Clearly, Abhimanyu makes 200 rupees more if he accepts offer B in comparison to offer A after the first year. Now, if we continue this scenario, let us see how much Abhimanyu would make at the end of year 2. Let us first evaluate offer A for the second year. In offer A, Abhimanyu would make 800 rupees more in the second year than what he made in the first year. That is, he would make 4,800 rupees at the end of year 2. Now, in offer B, Abhimanyu would make 200 rupees more in the first 6 months of the second year. That is, 2,400 rupees and then for the next 6 months of the second year, he would make 200 rupees more above what he made in the first 6 months of year 2. That is, 2,600 rupees. Hence, Abhimanyu would make 2,400 rupees plus 2,600 rupees, which is 5,000 rupees at the end of year 2 if he accepts offer B. In this case too, Abhimanyu would make 200 rupees more if he accepts offer B 
as compared to offer A. In this way, if we continue the same logic for the next two years, here is what the payouts for the two offers would look like. At the end of every year, you can see that Abhimanyu would make 200 rupees more if we accepted offer B as compared to offer A. Hence, Abhimanyu should accept offer B. When Vikram finished his explanation, Betal said, You're absolutely right, Vikram. I am impressed by your intellect. Let's continue on our journey. But I am sure your luck won't last you long. And I shall fly away soon. Ha ha ha!